day, we are talking about sciatica and how as physical therapists, we would assess this in the clinic and kind of figure out our treatment plan. So first, just what is sciatica? Sciatica is when you have symptoms, so that's pain, numbness, or tingling going down your leg, and that is because of an irritation at the nerve root. So you can think for, or anywhere along the course of the nerve. So the nerve is irritated, whether it is being mechanically compressed or if it is inflamed, um, those things will elicit symptoms that will go down your leg. So as physical therapists, we want to determine why is this happening and where is the nerve being irritated. So typically it is coming from your low back, uh, most commonly like that L5 S1 level of your low back. So that's right where your low back meets your pelvis and your sacrum. Um, so that's going to be our first suspicion, but we are also going to look elsewhere too. Sometimes the nerve can be irritated as it goes through the back of your hip, like the glute area, and passes through uh, around the piriformis muscle. So when those muscles are uh, tight, they can also uh, cause issues in the sciatic nerve. Um, so we are gonna do a full assessment. We're gonna look at your uh, full back and hip range of motion. We're gonna um, check out the muscles around that area, the joints around that area, and that is gonna give us a nice full picture. But as we narrow in on, um, yes, the sciatic nerve is irritated, here is a specific straight leg raise test that we can do to check at, um, that nerve. So what we're going to do is put that nerve in, a, in tension, so um, kind of a stretched position and see if we can elicit your sciatic symptoms. So that pain, numbness, or tingling going down your leg. All right, so Bella, I'm gonna have you lay on your back, okay? So it's a super, super simple test. Patient is relaxed. I'm going to lift your leg up okay. slowly, and I just want you to let me know if you start to get any symptoms in your leg. Okay. Specifically like your problem symptoms that you're coming in for today. Okay. As we lift the leg up, we are putting that sciatic nerve further on tension. Right there, start feeling some, some tension and tightness. Okay, so go ahead and bring your toes towards your shin. So flex that foot. Does that change your symptoms at all? Yeah, they're more intense and they go further down into my foot. Okay, and uh, go ahead and tuck your chin, lift that chin up. Okay, and does that change your symptoms at all? A little bit more intense. Okay, go ahead and relax completely. So that is the straight leg raise test. Okay. So the sciatic pain going down the leg is oftentimes coming from the low back. So as a PT, we want to understand, you know, what is the injury that is um, irritating your nerve and creating those symptoms down your leg. So if I narrow in on the fact that it is coming from your low back, I will typically think that there is either a disc injury, so this could be a disc bulge, a disc herniation, some level of disc injury. Um, in an older patient, I might think more like an arthritic process, so um, it, degeneration, wear and tear on the spine, um, causing more of that irritation on the nerve. Or there's also spondylolisthesis, which is always important to think about as well. Um, and that could be more like an instability in the back that can cause irritation on the nerve. Um, so here you can see um, the, the different levels of your spine. So you have the vertebrae and in between it, you have the discs. And so with um, a disc injury, you can get a little bit of encroachment um, on the space of the nerve root. And that can be one reason why you could experience sciatics. So the first stretch we're gonna do is gonna be for that piriformis muscle um, right by the glutes. Like Mary said, the nerve can kind of get compressed if that muscle is tight, so we wanna stretch it out. So you're gonna cross one leg over the other and then loop your hands behind your thigh, pull upwards, and you should feel a nice stretch 
in the glute on the leg that's up. You can hold this for 30 to 60 seconds and then relax out a bit. Another um, version of that, if that doesn't feel as intense, is like a pigeon pose stretch. So you're gonna have one leg kind of curled underneath you here, other leg goes straight back, and then you're gonna sink down onto your forearms here. This is just a more intense version of that other piriformis stretch. And if you're able to, you can kind of rest your head all the way down to the table. Same thing, hold for 30 to 60 seconds. The next activity you can do to help with some sciatic pain is what's called a nerve glide. So it's just gliding that nerve, getting it to move a little bit easier through where it courses throughout the body. So you can do it in laying down. You're gonna bring your leg up. And if you need a little bit of support, that's okay. As you point your toe forward, you're gonna lift your head. And then as you relax your head, you're gonna bring your toes towards your face. And you're just gliding back and forth. You can do this anywhere from 10 to 20 times. You can also do this in seated. Again, same thing. Leg will be out as you point the toe, head comes forward, and then as you lift the toes, head goes back. And just gliding between those two movements. 